Hi, thank you for tuning in to watch my uh, sweetheart soaping. Unfortunately, I lost the sound. Um, I'm a new YouTuber and I sometimes have technical difficulties. So I'll try to go along and show what I and talk about what I was working on and, um, and the rest I'll play some music. But I hope you enjoy it. Um, I started off by making my embeds for this soap. I like to do my embeds a couple of days or a week or whenever I have downtime before I ever get to do the soaping because I'm older now and I get a little tired uh, soaping the whole day. So I did my embeds with lots of time to spare so that I could take my time when it was time to put my soap together. Um, I was inspired by this um, tall and skinny uh, soap. I had made it before and this is a re-soaping of it with um, more knowledge and more, uh, I'm a little bit more seasoned and uh, about my soaping. And so that's what I'm doing at this stage. I'm doing my embeds way ahead of time. Um, I have a specific microwave that I use to uh, melt my melt and pour soap. I added my color. Um, I'll include the color um, details below. Um, but I found this mold at Walmart. I love their seasonal. Every time they change the seasons, uh, their um, party section as well as their season section, um, seasonal stuff, they have these new molds and they're usually very reasonably priced between three or four dollars. And I also sometimes I get a lot of inspiration by using them. I also like to begin to have all of my oils melted and put together and my live mixture ready to go before I begin soaping. As you can see, I also have my colors ready in different containers and my titanium oxide in different containers. The more prep I do, the better I feel about it. Now I'm ready to get going. So I pour my lye water over my stick blender and some every once in a while there's a little residue. So I, that's why I always use a strainer and I wanted to spare you the noise and I went ahead and started uh, uh, pulsing with my stick blender my mixture until I get to a very light trace. Then I separated it into my individual colors. These are for my drop sorrel. Um, I, and I'll put the colors below. I have a black, a violet, and a purple. And I believe um, they're all by Nurture Soap. They have the, really have a really great selection of vibrant colors. All right, and I, I blended them just, I, want, I, I soap at room temperature because I really like to have um, a really liquid soap. And sometimes, every once in a while, your soap will set up ahead of time. Um, I got my molds, and I'll list where I get my molds from below, my tall and skinny molds. And um, it makes a really pretty soap really tall and really skinny. Um, so let's see. I started with, oh, I'm sorry guys. I didn't put my, as like I said, I'm new and I didn't put my camera all over. So um, I put my base mixture, which has, um, I added titanium oxide to, to get it more white. And as you can see, it already started to set up. And so this is what um, the difference now for me. When this happens for me, um, where it starts to set up, Quickly, I already decide that I'm going to do a hanger squirrel. There's, you know, there's ways to combat when things don't work out exactly how you think they're going to uh, work out. So I tried to get all my soap in there. Sometimes it could be the fragrance, it could be the temperature in the house, it could be, oh, there's all so many reasons why your soap can set up quickly. But there's also different strategies to use. Like when it pours, it's a wonderful thing, but when you have to scrape and uh, manipulate the soap more than you thought you were going to have to, a hanger swirl, you know, you get a beautiful soap as well with that as well. So I do like to scrape out my containers as much as possible because I'd like to have more soap in the bar and less in my, in my less to clean up. Then I like to pat things down to get rid of any air bubbles, especially since it's set up so quickly. Sometimes you can have an air bubble trapped and, and it does kind of um, mar the beauty of your 
of your soap. So I use my favorite instrument, which is the chopstick, to create um, depth. And then I clean up a little bit because it's just always better to have a, a nice and clean surface. Now that I'm above making a big mess, Now I'm working on the topping of the um, of the soap. I, I like to do both things. I love a plain soap as well as a soap that has an icing topping. This um, soap my Im embeds in. So as you can see now, I fast forward to the stage where I I'm piping the top of my of my soap. I'm doing it quickly. I guess don't need, really need to see me um, do each one. I tried something different. I had different bands of color inside. This soap, which was different from the original, the original was mostly a white topping. This is a pink lavender mix. I got my um, my tips from um, Nurture Supply. It's the Royalty um, Soaps uh, baking tips. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, ba uh, ba uh, frosting tips. They've been wonderful. Plus, you also get access to um, to um, advice about piping and recipes once you buy the set. And as a novel, uh, as a, a new soaper, it was invaluable to me. Um, I also like to create a drizzle, which I did a little olive oil and some one of the colors. I like to drizzle around the top, and now I'm setting in my embeds and my hearts. I'm trying to space them so that I can cut very um, between, but I'm new. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> And as you can see, there's always a lot involved in making soap, so that's why I really like to do my my soap at one time and I also like to do um, and space myself now this is a part of uh, when I, my soap goes to rest overnight I um, wrap it in bubble wrap and cover it with a nice uh, warm blanket and I let it um, heat up overnight and the colors turn out really rich and it sets my soap up on its saponification journey alright so I tuck it in for the night and then around the same time, the next evening, I come and see if everything works out. So I will unmold the soap, and then I'll show you what it looks like before we get to cutting. <laughs> As you can see, I love the colors. The pink's beautiful. Um, I haven't seen what's inside yet, but we're going to see it together. All right, now I got my Nurture Soap, made my cutter, my soap cutter, my collar, my purplicious cutter. As you can see, the soap promises to have some really good colors in there. I really love working with black sometimes. It really makes everything pop. And so I'm just going to cut a few piece, pieces, pieces, I beg your pardon, uh, for you to see. Uh, my embeds are really, really tall, so I'm kind of cutting them on the side. And sometimes it's tricky, so... Uh, sometimes I cut it in half so that way it's easier for me to manipulate but this one seems like it's going to be okay so hopefully I get this under the camera for you to see <laughs> 